Hey everyone, this is Squeaky and in this video I want to show you how you can create your very own ChatGPT Twitch Channel Point reward. So before I show you how to do it, I just want to give you an example on how it actually looks like. So in order to demo this, you can see I've already have my uh, Twitch channel open here in a browser and I have my chat open here as well and you can see I've already created a Channel Point reward called ChatGPT. So how this works is that anything the user types in here will be sent to ChatGPT's APIs and it will respond and write it in the channel and actually have text to speech as well. So let's try this out here. So I'm going to redeem here and I'm going to type in who is Akali? Question mark. Special agent Squeaky said who is Akali? And got the response, Akali is a champion in the game League of Legends. She is an agile assassin with ninja themed abilities. Okay, cool. So let's actually uh, try some other redeems here. For example, when was the Game Boy released? Special Agent Squeaky said when was the Game Boy released? And got the response, the Game Boy was released on April 21st, 1989. Poggers. <laughs> and a third one here, and let's say that uh, tell as a joke, uh, including the word pine apple. Special Agent Squeaky said tell us a joke including the word pineapple and got the response, why was the pineapple always so funny? Because it had an appealing sense of humor. So this was just a quick demo on a Twitch channel point reward that has a ChatGBT integration. So in this video, we are going to do this ourselves step by step and you're going to see how to do it for your own channel. But before we do this together, I just want to do a full disclosure and that is that the website that actually provides with this ChatGBT service is a website I've created. So in a sense, I'm showcasing another website I've created in this video. Okay, with that done, let's actually do this together step by step. So the first thing is obviously we need to create a channel point reward here. And obviously you need to be a affiliate or partner to have access to channel point rewards. But we're going to do this together here now. So I'm going to click on my profile here and then take the create a dashboard. I'm going to scroll down here to viewer rewards and then to channel points, manage rewards and challenges. And here you can see all the list of all the custom rewards you can create here. So we're going to create a brand new reward here, add new custom reward. We're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this ask chat GBT. Doesn't really matter what description you have here, but you can put in whatever. We have to enable require viewer to enter text because we want the user to write something to ChatGPT, right? So this is going to be enabled. We have to put in an amount. So in this case, let's put in one because this is just a demo. You can add whatever icons you want. We are going to enable this skip reward request queue because this reward will be automatic. It will be resolved automatic. So no need to have this. And I think we're just going to create here. So we now have a Twitch channel point reward here called AskGBT. So this is the first step. So the second step is to go to a website called freetts4streamers.com. And this is the website I have talked about. This is the website I've created here. So what we're going to do here is to immediately log in here with the Twitch login. Log in with your Twitch account, yes. And this website basically provides different various ways to have text to speech on your Twitch channel. And it's actually free for you to use if you want. So as you can see, you can create regular uh, Twitch channel point TTS browser sources here. But in our case, we're going to use this beta version of the ChatGBT AI browser sources. So I'm going to click here. But before we continue here, I just want to do another quick disclosure. And that is that it is the beta version of this browser source, the ChatGBT browser source. And it says here it is free now, but it might not be in the future. So the thing here is that the ChatGBT uh, API actually costs money. So I would actually pay a monthly fee for it. So right now it is free, but in the future, it could be only be limited to project supporters to help pay the bill each month. So please keep this in mind. 
and I'm going to scroll down here and as you can see here it says you haven't created any browser sources yet why not create one so we need to create a new browser source here so from this list here please select which Twitch reward it should be connected to. And as you can see, we can see all the rewards I've created here. So we're going to connect this browser source to this Ask ChatGBT reward we just created. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to create the browser source. So now the browser source has been created. And if you scroll down here to free voices, you can immediately see here it says, no voices found. Did you add the browser source to OBS? please add the browser source in your OBS and then reload the page. So the first thing we need to do here is to copy the browser source URL here and add it to our OBS Studio. So what I'm going to do here is just to drag in OBS Studio here onto my desktop so you can actually see my OBS Studio. And it will be a kind of weird inception of screens here, but I think it will work out. So what I'm going to do here is to create a new browser source. I'm going to right click on my sources here and then add browser. We need a name for this browser source. I'm just going to type in chat GBT TTS. And in here, I'm just going to paste in the browser source URL we just copied here and press OK. And as you can see here, it says here, no selected voices, please log into your account on freettsstreamers.com and select which voices you want to have enabled and then reload this browser source. So we're going to do that. So I'm going over here to my browser here again. I'm going to hit F5 to refresh. And as you can see, this uh, list of free voices is now populated. So all these voices here are voices that is free to use. And I don't actually have a long list of voices, but what you can do is to install your own voices in Windows. So if you have another language you want to add here, there are instructions on how to install additional voices in Windows if you just follow this guide here. But in our case, I think this is good enough. So what I'm going to do here is just to select a few voices. So I'm going to take in Susan here and I'm going to take in David. And as you can see here, it says updated. Please remember to refresh your browser source. So we're going over to OBS Studio here again. I'm going to open up my properties of my uh, browser source. And I'm just going to refresh cache of current page. And as you can see here, the red text vanishes. And instead it says here, thank you for supporting the project. Please share any feedback in the Discord server. Have a fun stream. So this is now enabled. So if I just go over to my uh, Twitch channel here, go to channel, we should be able to see our new reward we've created here called Ask ChatGBT. And we can immediately test this if you want to. So let's try um, what is Marius? Sunny. Special Agent Squeaky said what is Mario's surname and got the response, Mario's surname is Mario. So if you didn't know that, Mario is actually called Mario Mario. So let's try another one here. Um, what is the famous quote Hal 9000 says? Special Agent Squeaky said what is the famous quote Hal 9000 says, and got the response, I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Awesome. So this is basically the bare minimum you need to do to actually have a ChatGPT Twitch channel reward on your channel. However, we are going to continue to go through some more of the advanced features so you can actually see all the things you can do with this system. So in order to showcase all the advanced features here, we need to go back to our website here, to our browser source, and there is a bunch of things we can do here and play around with. So we've just added the browser source. We have selected some free voices. And the next thing here is that there are premium voices here as well. So if you are a project supporter, you can get access to this AI voices from AWS, from Amazon Web Services. And these voices are way more better than the free voices, but they also cost money. That's why you need to be a project supporter. So what I'm going to do here is to disable these and I'm going to enable the classic Brian. So let's try that later on. 
I'm going to continue down here and let's see what the next section here is. So down here, we can adjust the volume here. As you can see, it's already 100%, but you can increase and decrease it how you want to. We can also decrease and increase the voice of the text to speech. So right now you can see that the voice is 1x here, but we can go all the way up to 1.7 speed, I think even 1.75, and we can make it really slow here as well. But right now we're going to keep it at one here. Another cool feature with ChatGPT is that we can have our own custom prompts. And this is a prompt that we give ChatGPT when it's going to answer all the questions. So right now it says here, your Twitch channel point reward follow a Twitch chat guidelines when composing the answer. Use the same language as the chat message. Important that the answer is short. And this is a good generic uh, prompt to use for most cases. But if you want to, you could actually customize this specifically to your own brand or channel or or whatever vibe you are going for. So as an example, let's actually change this to please be savvy. And if possible, include the word banana in your response. And this is a really weird prompt to use, but it will actually showcase what it can do. The next thing here is that we can change our response template. And this is basically what is going to be printed out in chat and be read out loud. So right now the default one is user says message and got the response response. So if you don't want all that, you maybe just want to have chat GBT and then the response here. So let's try that out later on. The next thing here is that you can adjust the randomness of ChatGBT. So right now it is one, which is basically a good balance between being creative and not too crazy. And if you go more towards zero, it becomes less creative and more deterministic. And if you go all the way to two here, it becomes really random and unpredicted responses here as well. But in our case here, we're going to keep that one. Okay, so we've set all these advanced settings here now. Let's actually try this out here. So the first thing we need to do here is to go back to OBS. And since we did a lot of new settings, we need to refresh this. So I'm going to refresh CAS of current page. So all our settings is now refreshed in our browser source. So let's go back to our chat here and let's actually redeem a new uh, reward here. I'm going to ask ChatGPT and I'm going to ask who is Zelda? ChatGPT, Zelda is a video game franchise created by Nintendo, primarily known for its main character, Link, and his quest to rescue Princess Zelda from the antagonist, Ganon. The games are iconic for their adventure, exploration, and puzzle-solving elements. Banana. As you can see, uh, ChatGPT really tried to include the word banana in this response, but we can basically ask it, what is your favorite fruit? What is your favorite fruit? Chat GPT, as an AI, I don't have the ability to taste or have preferences towards specific fruits. However, if I had to choose, I might say exactly. banana, as it's a popular and versatile fruit loved by many. Yes. So in this example, it makes more sense to actually name drop banana here. However, let's actually try our third example here. So if I go back to ChatGPT here, and I'm going to remove this banana example in the prompt here. Please be savvy if possible, include the word banana. I'm going to add always end the response with a compliment back to the Twitch viewer. Okay, then I need to go back to OBS Studio and I need to take properties and refresh this now so we get the latest settings. Go back to our Twitch channel and I'm going to redeem a reward here, which is our video games fun. Chat GPT, absolutely. Video games are a fantastic way to have fun, whether you're playing solo or with friends. They offer immersive worlds, exciting challenges, and the ability to escape reality for a little while. So, 
grab a controller or keyboard and dive into the wonderful world of gaming. And hey, I bet you're an awesome gamer yourself. Keep having fun and dominating those leaderboards. So as you can see, ChatGPT actually ended with a compliment back to the viewer. And that is a really cool way to actually add a custom prompt here. So you can tweak it as you want according to your own channel. Maybe your channel is not about positivity and having fun. Maybe it's more about having a really creepy and mysterious atmosphere in your channel. So let's actually change this prompt here to have a horror theme and be mysterious. So let's go back to OBS. You know what to do here. Refresh, go back here and let's ask the question here again. Will the streamer ever beat the boss and then end with a kappa. Chat GPT, in the depths of an eerie dungeon, the streamer battles an otherworldly creature, their desperate efforts fueling the suspense. But beware, for every triumph may be but a prelude to a darker revelation lurking in the shadows. Will the streamer conquer the boss or succumb to a sinister fate? So as you can see here, the answer becomes flavored with some mystery and horror. So this is basically all I wanted to show in this video, how to quickly create a ChatGPT Twitch channel point reward and how to customize it to your own brand or vibe of your own channel. So as always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the other content I do on this channel, please subscribe. And I wish you a continued great day. Now give me a love.